Today I have come up with a list of the 5 best coating thickness gauges 2022 in the market that are worth buying. So let's get started. Number 5 If you are looking for the best of the best, you can't go far wrong with VVV Group's Industrial 818 Professional Digital Coating Thickness Gauge. This incredibly high precession coating thickness gauge has a resolution of 0.001 mils, making it more than adequate for car inspections. It has a measuring range of 0-197 mils, 0-5 mm, for magnetic metal surfaces and 0-118 mils, 0-3 mm, for non-magnetic metal surfaces. The digital LCD screen displays the readings clearing and the user interface is simple to use with three measurement units, mils, um, and mm. In the package you will receive one industrial 818 coating thickness gauge, a calibration set for aluminium and iron plate, calibration foil set 50, 100, 250, 500, 1000 4 PC, shock proof case for carrying and storage, three AAA batteries and a manual. If you inspect a lot of vehicles or are planning to use a coating thickness gauge a lot, this professional device may be worth your investment. Number 4 Now, I don't know if there are real advantages over a black and white screen. Although in some situations, this can really be an advantage. The measuring working range of this CM218 is 01300 or 051 mils. If you accidentally forgot to turn off this device, then do not panic because it has an automatic shutdown function. This means that after some time of inactivity, the device itself will shut down. This saves batteries, which is really commendable. In terms of sensors, the accuracy of the sensor according to the manufacturer is plus or minus 3%. This isn't very commendable, to be honest with, because I've seen more accurate sensors so far. Also, this device has the function of automatic detection of the material, which is necessary to measure the layer's thickness. Number 3 Even though it looks a bit dated and the display is small, never underestimate its capability. It has a complete of features you might not think of. Like the standard paint thickness gauge, it's been designed to detect ferrous and non-ferrous base material automatically. So, this is good to measure the paint thickness of a car. On the display, you could actually access the information such as the number of readings, average readings, max and min reading, and standard deviation. Surely, this functionality can be activated when you turn on the continuous mode. You could select the single mode to measure one by one reading. Each reading is taken, you'll hear a tone. Range. 0-1250-0-49 mils however, this might confuse you at first. Learn the manual to master the buttons and functions thoroughly. That said, the screen can display all the data. This is the drawback. Besides that, the two working modes help you to perform a set of measurements and save the readings and statistical data on the built-in memory. The direct mode is to save the data despite it's off. While the group mode is to save the data under certain calibration. Another great thing is the transferable data. Connect your XTEC CG204 to a computer through the given USB cable to transfer the data. It comes with a CD that contains the software to interface the computer to paint gauge. Number 2 If you are looking for an alternative to RASR, A770G, you could pick VVV Group CM206FN. It provides great resolution, even better than RA. The price is friendly for the budget. However, there are a few drawbacks you have to know. Like the standard paint thickness gauge, this one has fulfilled the criteria of being able to detect magnetic and non-magnetic material base in a single probe and display it on the screen. One thing that really stands out of this PTG is its resolution. This one provides it up to 0.001 mils resolution. However, you have to know that the resolution decreases as the thickness of the surface gets thicker. On the screen, you could vividly see the reading. There is also the average readings can be seen. The unit reading displayed on the screen is also convertible in three different units, micron, mm, and mil. It comes with two rectangle calibration metals, aluminum and iron, a small carrying pouch, and manual instruction. The calibration instruction will be seen clearly in the manual. 
In the case of calibrating, you could only calibrate the zero reading because no calibration films included. Don't get confused about choosing between CM206FN, CM208FN, and CM288FN. The 208 has more functionalities especially on display. We can see some more statistical readings such as the lowest reading, the highest reading, and the average, which is more preferred for precision measurement. While the 288 has an extra standard deviation value on the LCD and the construction is more ergonomics. Number 1 You are looking for one of the best coating gauge thickness tools. You can't go far wrong with Array's paint thickness gauge. The measuring range of this gauge is 0 to 2000 um 78.7 mils, and it comes with an easy read LCD screen. Array's gauge has four profile groups with a total of 80 readings per group. Each group can have its own alarm settings, special limits and even its own calibration. If you decide to save your data, the gauge can store 320 readings before it needs to be cleared. The data stored in the gauge can then be transferred to a PC for analysis. Array software is compatible with Windows SVR 2000, 2003, 2008 and Windows XP Vista July 8, 2010, 32 and 64 bits. One great feature we love on this gauge is that you can set an upper and lower limit. When you cross these limits, an alarm will be displayed on the LCD screen. This gauge will be perfect for those who want to check for rust, repairs or other bodywork problems on used cars. The area paint coating thickness gauge is one of the most popular and well-reviewed LCD screen coating gauge thickness tools on the market. It also comes with an excellent 24 month free replacement guarantee. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you like this video. If this video is helpful to you, please don't forget to like comments and be sure to subscribe to get more reviews. Hope to see you guys in the next video.